for the fame. Nick. Hey, what's up? Aren't you doing it for the likes? <laughs> nah, I ain't doing it for the likes. Ah, uh, 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 oh, okay, oh, hold up, hold up. So you doing it for the pussy? Nah, I, I, I mean, yeah, no, 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 I, I ain't doing it for that. Okay, then, what are you doing it for? Man, I do it for the culture. like a, fa- a father's day kind of thing no maybe <laughs> a call up all, all men an old man kind of thing let's just talk about all kinds you want to talk about old men oh all, all kinds all of kinds of men all yeah. kinds of men yeah. all right we can get into that happy father's day happy father's day all the fathers yes. um i was at a at a sushi place earlier with my friend Tidbit. And there was, yeah, yeah, that's why I'm late. And um, <laughs> and then uh, there was this lady, and it was, she was, like, surrounded by by children. And then um, I guess her last son came in, and and she's and he's like, Mom, happy Father's Day. And she's like, damn right. I'm your mother and your father. That's fucking right. I was just talking about that <laughs> with was. him. I was like. <laughs> well, the lady who's about to tell us a, a story <laughs> is our guest for today. This is another episode of For the Culture Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Alexander. Here to my right is my co-host, partner in crime, Amory Lee. Hey, guys. How's it going? What's up? And uh, to my left is a good friend of mine, somebody who uh, I was doing comedy, hitting the streets with in New York. And uh, we both move out to L.A. and we've been doing our thing out here. And uh, I'm a big admirer of her works as well. My friend Callie, Woo-hoo! the comedian. Yeah. yeah. So what were you telling talking about in the car? Before? I was just saying that I met a girl today that did that. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to call my mom because she's the mom and dad in yeah. my life. I'm just like, what? I think moms get more of a, of a trip instead of Mother's Day. Like the Father's Day. Like, yeah, damn right. I was there for you. I was your mother and your father. I, I see the same back and forth every year with this Mother's Day. Father's Day shit. So Mother's Day, you know, we big y'all up. We give y'all the world of admiration. You know, the ones who are you know good. When I see on my timelines, but then when Father's Day comes up, it's always some drama because then there's the women who want to give themselves the pat on the back for being the mom and the daddy. Then there's the dudes who's like, no, yeah. you're not really the father. Acknowledge the fathers. Leave that to the men. But Even if you if, are a single but mom, what if they went it. to get a pack of cigarettes and never came back? Yeah, their mother and fathers. But, but just take Mother's Day. Why do you have to take Father's no, Day? For, no, 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 that's stupid. Nick. Come on, really? Because I they're know gone. That's, it's, 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 there's there's Let's women out there it. who have mother who were the mother and the father okay. for children. And what about the the men who raise the kids on their own? They don't get Mother's Day. They just oh, leave no. it alone and wait till Father's Day. But so just if, just take Mother's Day do and they? then leave Father. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but um, maybe some of them take as far as social media. Media wise, you're right. But right. as far as like in general, I know like Mother's Day, Social like single media fathers. Is general. Well, now <laughs> relevant now within the times, but like in the past, I've seen it when it's Mother's Day and I know single fathers, they still celebrate and they go out. It's just a whole social media thing. I yeah. don't think it's a, I think I it's just I know what you mean I, 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 I know what you mean It's like why do you have to have it all It's because we're not supposed to Right We're not supposed to be the father So when we have to We're forced to be it mm. Yes we would like some gifts too We yeah. want both holidays Y'all, want both. y'all, y'all got yes. Valentine's Day Y'all yes. got your birthday Y'all got Christmas you. Y'all got Mother's Day Y'all Father you. I got at least five plus Thank days you. Yeah. What more do you I want I don't know I, are Honestly if I was a man And I know like the history of men and women In this society I'd be like take whatever the fuck you want You guys have been subjected so much bullshit you want yeah. Father's Day too go ahead and get Father's right, Day right like I bleed every month it's Whatever. not okay it's not okay men get the show we got a little card thing. they have the little card here Paul comedy pop up nice. you got a card where, you got where Paul, where Paul did you, were you here before did you ever do this podcast before like comedy pop up uh, yes yes I did this oh. is a very fun place for me I really enjoy it uh, <laughs> it's a great great venue yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Dope. Very I'm nice. gonna take a little maybe video <laughs> or selfie. What do you guys prefer? We down, we down for whatever. And we have the little video there as well. So What's you can. Right. 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 Guys? But that's going to like I don't know the, the other side. We, we the never see the video. Yeah, right, they just record I don't, us. I never see the video. At you all. never see it. Like we could no. probably like yeah do cocaine and this shit'll never make it out because they just keep uh, all the videos. I don't think archives. doing cocaine on a Sunday is gonna do it, guys. Woo! But you've done cocaine on other days. You know, back in my wild days, not anymore. That was last week. Hey, hey, I'm a respectful <laughs> I'm, member of society You are a beautiful, now. respectful lady mm-hmm. and an honest human being and citizen, all that good stuff. And so is no. Anne-Marie. 
Last time I, I know, did, I'm last time I did, you are the oh, she at least she, least, she missed to being a degenerate. I was trying to give her, you no. know, I'm trying to big my women up, right. straight up degenerate. Last I'm trying time. to elevate you, girl. No, I elevate myself, but I'm still degenerate. Okay. <laughs> last time I, I did uh, cocaine, I, I ended up with no pants in jail in East LA. <laughs> oh shit, I remember. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, you know, two people, you know, one comic that was involved in that, and I will let you know the name. Why do of I it always after. know the comics you've done understand. cocaine with? I don't understand why it's. I, uh, I've just yeah. been through. Everything with you. Yeah, um, I guess yeah, so. Yeah. I've been with her too in her um, her moments of degenerate. Right. <laughs> Which you is know, always. But- <laughs> but I, I appreciate. Look, I don't mind it. Look, I'm. A, my thing is, if I'm around and and I know you're gonna indulge in that fun, like I, I'll be in the room and I'm just gonna always make sure no, like you I would do nothing never, stupid. I like, would never do it again, and it's so messed up because I thought I was one of those people that could do it at parties. Turns out I'm not. Turns out I will literally punch somebody in the face yeah. and end up in jail. And then weed too. A weed out here is really strong. Like I can't. Yeah. Like it's like. Yeah. Yeah. But weed is manageable. You're not gonna punch anybody over over yeah, weed that's smoke. Yeah, oh, You that's might true. just feel like shit, or you want to lay down. I, yeah, I just I can't. The weed out here is way too potent, guys. I'm gonna if, since we're doing the whole Father's Day thing. I, I was gonna call my dad just randomly. You wanna call? Oh, well, you should. You call should your dad. Do, it, do it. Are you guys done for that? Let me just. You can call that's your dad. So funny. Me, I don't know it. My, my WhatsApp connection is shitty, so I'm not calling my dad. Let me see if he, could you could you hear from here? Uh, I hear it. What's that? Oh, you got the thing. I put it down. <laughs> is that is that it? I don't even know For the it. culture. Hello. Papi, happy Father's Day. Four. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> happy Father's Day, Papi. <laughs> Feliz Dia de Padre. Oh, thank you. Gracias, gracias. Papi. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him. In, I'm gonna tell him in Spanish. Do you want a bunch of women, Papi? ¿Qué tú quieres para día de los padres? Muchas mujeres. Eh, sí, una, una hija, bueno, de, de 25. He wants a 25 year old woman for his father. Does he want, can he take a 30 year old? Tenemos aquí, Papi, una de 30 años, en Latina. He's gonna say no. no. She said you're too old. <laughs> No, di, mira, no, no sabes lo que te estás perdiendo, coño. Ya, yeah, that's it. I'm, okay, I'm baby. Fighting, I'm fighting okay, you. baby. Happy Father's Day. I love you. Oh, thank you. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. Shit. We can't even get you an older sugar daddy. You can't even Yo, get me a, my uh, dad is a fucking pimp, bro. And it's so he easy. Has, you could, he's he, gettable right now because he just has surgery, so he's like, yeah, he needs a girl yeah, to take yeah. care of him. He has, he, he has two girls in Cuba. They're 21 and 23, and they fight over him. And my dad is he's, a 60-year-old on welfare in America, but in Cuba, he's, he's a, a man. He's a prize. <laughs> That's a wow. Uh, that's hilarious. He's a, he, he's, a, he's a nigga who got it. He's like, yo no hago nada de 25 a para arriba. Yo no hago nada de 25 para abajo. He's, vaya. he's Cuban. Yeah, I'm Cuban. Oh my Cuban. God. I'm Cuban. <laughs> Your dad just rejected me. I'm like, is there anything left for me? Like, not even know. old Cuban men want me. <laughs> We're trying, I'm if, trying to hook it up for you. You know, <laughs> I think if in two years I'm not a huge comedy star, <laughs> prostitution is my my best my best bet. Let, let, give it maybe five years. <laughs> five years. You, you need more thank time in LA. You need more time in LA before I you need, give up. Thank you, Nick, for uh, allowing me to spend five years without, you know, selling my. I don't vagina. want you. You know, I I believe in your talent. So <laughs> thank you. let's thank get you. into that. So, Callie, you're a unique individual. Uh, not God. only do you do stand up, you uh, take the risk of doing characters, and um, not just characters. You do characters that can be considered controversial, um, in my in most people's opinion. Right. Um, and you, have, you what I what I like what you do is how you can sometimes be so committed you lose you you are the people that like you lose yourself like I could tell if you were doing when you're doing dramas and then they give you a method acting assignment you would probably like if you had to be a homeless lady you'd probably live homeless for like two months just to get right. into that mindset right. and really believe you're homeless and not right. wash your ass. Right, and but not, it's you know, the method acting. Method the method acting, acting. <laughs> but it's different with comedy because yes. it's so beautiful. Like I saw my characters when they were terrible. Like Ali Bibi, I remember where I used to look like a ninja on stage. Right. Tell them people about Ali Bibi. What, Ali what Bibi, Ali Bibi? Uh, which I no longer really do because she stopped me from getting deals and living my dreams. Uh, she's a Muslim woman, and so I wear like a burqa <laughs> oh. on stage. So everybody thinks it's like a real like. I've, what does she I've do? Tricked, what does she do? I've tricked actual comics. Too. Oh, like yeah. it's hilarious and I go up there I do stand up I just tell jokes but I do it like I'm Ali Bibi like oh alhamdulillah my name is Ali Bibi and I am very very excited <laughs> like 
Like, and people I, are like, what the fuck? I, like, I thought I showed you the, because I showed her your stuff. Right. And I was like, yo, my home girl from uh, New York is obviously right. those characters. And she like really believes that she's these people. And then. And I believe, like I went and got a, the oh actual God. burqa from, from those men. Like yep. I've been to the mosque. And, like I went in on that And she character. walked in the streets with the burqa on in New yeah. York and yeah. in LA, right? Right. You did it right. But do you, do you go into, um, okay, do you go into <laughs> Muslim religion? Like as far as like getting stoned for like. No, no, no. Like no, adultery. Because it's like, a, no, no, no. It's a very delicate character, that's which what is I'm why saying. I stopped. No, no, no. It, but, it, it drove her like it was like to yeah. the people point were where, getting they were yeah. getting butt hurt. Oh with yeah, it. I have Not like uh, several death threats. Yeah, yeah. People in my face are like, "What are you doing in Arabic?" I had to leave. You know, El Presidente. That show in the, in the Heights? Okay, yeah, 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 the bar. Yeah, yeah. I, I did that. I know Ali the supermarket there. in Miami. But in no, it's a, it went in New York. Oh, and, okay. No, in, in and it was nighttime, and I went to do the character, and after I got off stage, it was so believable. These two Arabic men, like, approached me, and they were, like, yelling at me. They, they probably were saying, like, what the hell are you doing outside? Because they're not supposed to be outside, like, after... Whoa. After, like, 6 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. really lived that culture, but I, I realized that it, I just kept showing that. Because to me, it's amazing. And it's so good. Like, I did it at the store. That was the last time I did it. God, it was so good. But I almost, almost got banned from the store because the lady was like, you can't be doing this. I had a I had a selfie stick, so it looked like a, it was a, some sort of weapon. Oh, and the shit. fucking tourists were like, what the fuck? No, first of all, first of all, that, bomb scare. That, is, that is so good. That is so good. <laughs> and I you. think you should keep doing it. Of course. I want to keep that's, doing it, but I also want to live No, look, look at like Ari Shafir. Like there's so many other comics right. who like are controversial like right. that and they do shit. Like it's just a matter of like. Yeah, but he's just being him though. He's not like he's immersing not really, himself into something else yeah. that is yeah, culturally he, and uh, have all these like but it's a character history yeah. of Ari Shafir listen no I'm saying what she's it's, doing it's a character right, right, right. But and it's, it's very, not especially it's not, nowadays like they murder those people making cartoons and well, like, not, they that's, weren't even that's not here though yeah but it, it's very sensitive and no one knows my name I, I, I realize that I have to bring in lighter Universe. characters and myself yeah. but yeah. lighter characters yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. I've come I've come up with a white girl I don't know if you've seen me I've been trying to work on a white girl like I, oh my god you guys like I've, se I've seen some of the videos or yeah. just videos you do the character with your um, yeah I, I put some uh, the, IG videos yeah for that sure. video because then now it's not stand up you're not um in, in front of people you could just do it it's also very yeah. the Muslim one yeah oh god it's very very, when I post that on, on my Instagram and it's just like the little cap, the black is so intense. And the yeah, thing yeah, that yeah. I say, it's just such an intense oh, character. Oh, talk about the lighter one, uh, Karen Batista. Karen Batista is a, like a universal superstar, movie star. <laughs> okay. And she's like very wealthy now, but she came from being a struggling actress. Mm -hmm. and she had a, an affair with Donald Trump back mm -hmm. in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And that she's very regal, you know, um, wears a lot of fur. I actually have tricked people. I remember shooting some thing um in uh new york and this guy came up to me at this hotel and asked me for my autograph because i was selling that so hard that i was someone famous somewhere else that he was like she must be someone that i don't know like universal especially the asians they'll take pictures yeah. for anybody and, and like she yo. Would wear, like like fancy hats and shit and, yeah, like, yeah, and, fancy and, hats. and uh, like pearl necklaces i don't know where you got that pearl that like that is so funny. Golden i Girl literally pearls. everything i get from the characters is like a magical thing like i find it on the street or i find it at a store that i'm like it's like a weird thing but uh yeah. this character is cool because i get to piss off a lot of rich people which yeah. is very difficult it's to so do it's so good because then yeah. they think that it, it's really you you get what right, I'm saying and right. it's like you're mocking them in a sense right. it's interesting because I love your accent right. but I actually have a character who kind of talks what you do right. and I love it her name is Maria <laughs> right I think I've seen that I yeah, have I've you seen, seen that. it? yeah I think I've do seen that do we follow video. each other on Instagram? yeah so I think that's, so but it's like when I, I she was at, at the Juice for Jahan shout out to Jahan Jones for the Juice movie and when How I how was that by the way? oh right right it was cool I mean I didn't stay for the food I had to go actually. yeah I had to go too but the so I was trailer did you watch was the movie? Movie or just yeah, it looked really, really, really cool. Yeah, the trailer. And that's where, where the I trailer. met her. Okay. Um, you guys, are you guys down to uh, have uh, Father's Day uh, from uh, Marky Mark real quick? What? From Marky Mark, Father's Day. What do you talk about? Who's Marky Mark? All right. You guys are going to find out right now. Mark Wahlberg? What yeah. Is I know Mark Wahlberg. Oh, and so gonna... he wanted to do a special Father's Day since we're doing a Father's Day rendition here. So we well, might be getting Mark Wahlberg on the phone, guys. All right, let's do it. He, um, I mean, I know people. I know a lot of people. It's important to know a lot of people, you know, but at the end of the day... You know somebody famous, you know... <laughs> Hello? Oh. Hi, is this uh, Mark Wahlberg? 
speaking. How can I help you? Yes. Oh. Um, so it, it, we're doing a Father's Day uh, episode of the podcast, and we just kind of wanted to uh, uh, talk to you about uh, Father's Day and and uh, what, what what you're going to be doing today. Well, first off, how'd you get this number? <laughs> well, we we met in Hollywood not too uh, like not too long ago. Wait, who am I talking to? Uh, this is Amory Lee, up and coming uh, comedian. <laughs> <laughs> so just... Amory Lee. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody's funnier than Andrew Jack Clay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Mark, I'm sorry, but you That's gave me funny. your number. I don't know if you remember, but we're just doing a Father's Day rendition. I'm here with uh, Nick Alexander. Big fan, Mark. How you doing? What's going on, Nick? How you doing, baby? I'm chilling, man. Just uh, hosting a podcast. You know, just trying to do my thing. Happy Father's Day. I know you got kids. Appreciate it. You know, I got the little text out here, you know, spending some time, dude. I hear you. You out in L.A.? No, I'm actually in New York right now. We're filming the 14th Transformer movie. <laughs> the 14th Transformer <laughs> movie. <laughs> that is awesome. Yo, I, I want to say I try your wall burgers. Delicious, delicious stuff. Oh, yeah. We put a lot of flavor into that meat, you know? <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of flavors. That's what's up, man. Okay, Mark. Well, I mean, I had you on my phone, and, and it's a Father's Day episode, and we kind of just interjected do me a here. Favor. Hey, do me a favor, though, for real. Do me a favor. Don't call me ever again. Okay? <laughs> I mean, Mark, you gave me your number. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to intrude. I just, I, you know, I, I didn't thought... think you were gonna call me for some radio podcast or something like that. I got stuff to do. You know, I wake up at like four in the morning every day, right? Well, we're we're about to get residuals, right? We're about to get monetized, no? Pretty we're soon. iHeartRadio, we're Pretty on... Pretty soon. We might be after this call. Oh, okay, well, I mean, if it's legit, I got a lot of connections with iHeartMedia. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not a problem. You know, just, you know, let me know ahead of time. Text me, do so. You know, thanks for all this day. I got kids, you know? Come on, Amory. Yeah, that's true. I, you know what? I am... I'm sorry. Wow, I'm so sorry. I, it won't happen again. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Listen, I'm the executive producer of Entourage. If there was anything other than, you know, what's going on right now, I would, I would tell you. But just, you know, let me know ahead of time. Oh. Favorite show. That's the reason why I'm out here, man. Whoop, whoop. All right. Nick, All right. Hey, hey, Nick, that, that's what's up. You know, you know, I, I feel you on that one. You know what I'm saying? I got to pass by the West Coast and say what's up to you. So, yeah, we'd love to have you on the podcast and talk some shit. 100%. 100%. Dude, sounds good. <laughs> Thank right. you, Mark. No worries. No worries. Hey, guys, happy Father's Day for you, Nick, especially you, Nick. Especially you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Mark. Bye. All my kids are in the toilet. Later. Bye. Whoa, whoa, wow. That was, <laughs> that was a great video. That was a great video. That, yeah. That was cool. Hey, that's a good Mark Wahlberg impression. Woo, woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But thank you for having uh, Mark Wahlberg on, Amory. I mean, I know people. Amory that's what's, that's is what's connected. Up. That's what's up. I know that's a up. lot of people. Um, so now yeah. I want to talk about my favorite fucking character. And I, I don't know why you stopped doing her. This one is my favorite one. So she does a rapper called Shea Butter, right? Shea Butter. Uh, and it's I, a he. Excuse me. I said, she, I said you do a How rapper does it called Shea Butter. I didn't say it was a she. Oh, that's true that you didn't. I didn't. I have a very, yeah, he knows. She be getting tight. Well, you guys figure it out. How does a Shea Butter sound? Shea Go. Butter, Shea oh, Butter the third. But how does it like, sound? Um, it was going on as your boy Shea Butter and this motherfucker. I'm out here in the struggle, my nigga. Like I'm out here in the game. What's good, Harlem? <laughs> Har it's for Shea Butter's from Harlem. He does the Cardi. <laughs> Shea Butter's from Harlem. Shea Butter was actually bird calling before uh, Cardi did. Yeah, Turn up. I've been bird calling for Real a talk. long time. Turn up. Can I tell my favorite Shea Butter story? Please do. Go ahead. So uh, one night we're at this club in New York City in the Village, right? And um, I would—I don't think I was on the show. I, was, I think I was there just to pass through. <laughs> and uh, this one had a spot, right? So. They get up on stage and they come up with the Shea Butter swag, you know, because they got the, he wear the uh, the little cool jackets and the fitted hat, shades on at yeah. nighttime and shit like that because <laughs> Shea Butter's a fucking superstar. Yeah. He's like, yo, Shea Butter, my nigga. He's a what's up, no, Bird yeah, Call? Yeah. Then the one of the waiters came around and was like, yo, my nigga, get me a bottle of water, all right? Because I'm thirsty. <laughs> and it spit, yeah. right? Oh. Into the audience, right? And then they were like, yo, you better clean it up. It was like, nah, I ain't cleaning shit up, man. Fuck out of here. Suck my dick, nigga. <laughs> I, if I'm not there, I heard the story so many times, I felt like I was there. So then, right? Wow. Shea Butter get, finishes the set. They tell Shea Butter, yo, you got to go. So they call in the person playing Shea Butter, Callie. And then they're like, listen, um, you can't spit into the audience like that. Like, that's not tolerated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're willing to let you off with a warning or whatever like that, but you can't be spitting. And, Did you uh, say that wasn't me? That was Shea Butter? Exactly. <laughs> Yo. 
that's what it is. But you know what? They let me back in because of, course they because are. of a Facebook status I posted. Uh, being some, apologetic? Yeah, because something happened in comedy at that time where it was like, you can't say anything anymore. And I was like, they're killing us. Oh, we're they're not taking artists away our anymore. Freedom. Yeah, yeah. And they felt bad. They were like, let's that let her back in. Shit. Hey, whatever, man. Fuck that Pity, shit. whatever. You Fuck got back in. Shit. I yeah. know. So that, yeah, that's my little favorite story about Shea Butter. Oh Shea Butter. Shea Butter. <laughs> I have so many favorite with Shea Butter. You know, Shea Butter went on a little tour around New York with Cypher Sounds. Pranking uh, real rappers. He up. would he would DJ and all the rappers. It was like a talent show, right? And then at the end, I would come out like the winner of the last show, and I would come out and I'd be like, da 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 like, and they'd be like, "Is this shit for real? Like this is not. This can't be a real person." Yeah, shout out to Sife. Remember, we used to go uh, watch rappers on 14th Street, Union Square. Remember, that we used was, to go see those freestyle battles. They have like this area in uh, Union Square, favorite. and they would freestyle on Friday night, and like man niggas in the Cipher just. Going crazy, He's they going got the cameras it. out, and everybody just freestyles you for like You know, four I hours. did. I did a shea but I went to that and rap one night, and it was the most magical night of comedy, and no one was there to witness it, but I was there. And <laughs> so, I but what, swear but to does shea butter like does shea butter have game? Like, what's his shea ammo? butter can like, freestyle? Shea butter can freestyle. freestyle. She meant for like, days. does shea butter bag bitches? Does he bag bitches? No, because I I'm not gay, but then bitches <laughs> no, wanna but that'd fuck me. Just bitches wanna no, bitches wanna do shea butter hard. Like I have to be like that's dope though. I'm not really into this life, but <laughs> bitches are all over Shea Butter. I have a lot of footage with bitches yeah. attacking Shea you Butter. You could have definitely rocked someone with the strap on. Yeah, like. maybe when I'm famous, I'll develop a personality and I'll start fucking it's bitches all to at ego. Shea Butter. It's yeah. all to ego. I'll go to hooker houses and become like Whoa, uh, okay. Shea What's Butter that? in the house, getting mad What's pussy. What's that guy's name that almost died because of hooker homes? Uh, uh, Lamar homes. Odoms? Yeah, yeah, I'll become Lamar. And, mm -hmm. In the bunny house, uh, right. at the bunny ranch. But uh, where do you get your carries? It's like, what is Paris doing? Like, like, honestly, like, the shit is fucking to me. Be, I don't understand it either. It you don't. It's comes, not so Shea Butter is not someone you know. No, because my characters that I do, it's always someone that I know. No, like my Maria character is my mom. Like just uh, everybody's it's, like. It's almost like obviously you know a rapper and you know someone that acts someone, like that, yeah. but it's like that specific person is almost like me just being bored and dressing up like a little doll. That's the best way I can explain yeah, it. Like, yeah. oh shit. Because when I started Shea Bora, it was terrible. Again, like all of them. It was like me mm -hmm. clearly being a girl with a do-rag on. I was like, oh God, what's happening to me? She was definitely yeah. a long time the weirdo on the comedy circuit. Yeah. yeah. It was, she still it was, might be the weirdo. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't gotten out because I still don't have millions of dollars. But when I do, they'll be like, <laughs> we all believed in your magic. No, you just Fuck have you, you have your own lane. That's so, what it is. Right? Um, a couple of things with Callie. So recently, I've you know I noticed you know I check out your gram every now and then and it's uh, so one you, you rocking blonde hair now. What was the reason behind the blonde? Oh hello. Well, I figure because uh, white people have been stealing my culture for so many years. Nick is trying to be a hairstylist, so just give him exact um, reasons why. Yeah. <laughs> Gets offended. I'm not offended. I don't understand. That's so funny. No, because you, you talk about like his a, hair so random. You guys are like a married couple, huh? I yeah. see that. That's great. I'm, that's a question. No, I just figured, like, you know, and you know already the difference. White people treat me way differently. Since you had blonde hair. Yes. Black people treat me way different. With it's, the blonde? Yeah. It's really? like they it's almost like white is, is like the highest to everything. Mm -hmm. And people treat you like you're different. I'm like, nope. Still same person underneath the hair. With the blonde? Yeah. Because you could actually get away with the blonde. I can't get away with the blonde. You tried it before? Yeah. It just doesn't. Like, you your stuff I mean, look, you're, looks you're really good. good. No, but yours looks good. Like, it, it flows. Yeah. Like, I tried and it just doesn't for me personally. Mm -hmm. And then the maintenance, too. How about red? I, I can see you with red. Some red. I've never tried Maybe red. red tips. Like the curtains? I've never It'll tried red. Oh, wow. Yo, that's devilish. I fuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe for the summertime. <laughs> hey. So, so you, you did it just to, like as an experiment, and you've already noticed how you're treated as an individual and as a comic, or just an individual. Yeah, they treat you different, like when you're in certain rooms. Both and freer too. Almost like I'm, I'm allowed to be a little crazier or say like cookier right. things. Yeah, because I don't look like the formal, you know. Halle Berry, black hair, nineteen ninety eight. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know. you, I mean, you committed to the short look. I, I you know. Um, I, I, I don't know. I can't grow at that awkward stage. Yeah. Well, the growing. short look is very, is very difficult. Cool. Like you have to, you, right you right have now. to have a pretty face right. to, Thank um, you. yeah, to, to get the, the short look thing. You have to have like some sort of like. Mm, you know, I you feel know? like. 
pretty doesn't help you in comedy because they think that you haven't been through anything and, and you're no, not really a fuck comic. That, fuck that. They think that, but just fucking stay pretty. It's, of course. You're in your I have no, of course, I have no I, choice. But shit. it's annoying. Like, oh my God, Thursday was like a nightmare at the store. But funny's funny, babe. At yeah, the end of the day, so true. fuck them. You're going to look true. how you look and you just keep doing what you're doing. You thank know? you, thank you. I will continue to do that. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, the Maria came out. You heard it? Right, right. She's gonna start talking like this, <laughs> and then we can talk together. Oh my god, I love Miami. <laughs> I went there once. My yes. whole life got out of control after four days of being there. Miami's I can't go. Crazy. I can't live there. Miami's it's wild. Care to share? Um, Nick almost, wants to know. Almost, Nick wants to know the petty though. I know only the petty. I almost missed my flight. I just here for. I've never <laughs> seen partying like that. Like people oh, chanting yeah, yeah. and fucking actual partying. I was like my lungs. I was screaming so loud. I was oh, like, God, yo, this crazy. is crazy. It gets crazy. There. It gets crazy. So yeah. much fun. So yeah. much fun. Those tiny coffees. Oh, yeah. uh, colada. Cuban coffee. Colada. Yeah, the yeah. colada. It's like crack. It's like cracking a little cup. I, I stand by it. I, yeah, those are. I good. never felt like a shot like drink a Cuban espresso before. Yeah, those it's, are good. It's, it's, it's legit. It's legit. Have you guys heard the Nas album? Uh, I no, heard some I of it. To. How is it? I liked it so far. I mean, some people are complaining about the beats, and they said it doesn't go with the raps that he's doing. Some people think it's trash. Some people think it's really good. It's very, it's it's very mixed. It's very divided. I haven't seen that about a Nas album in a long time, but I, I I dug it. Most of what I've heard so far. But do you think it's anything like new from what you've heard before from Nas? Uh. Because I, I just hear Nas. You just, what, what, what does that mean? What do you mean by that? Because. Like lyrically, he's always been obviously lyrically inclined, but I'm saying as far as like um, the flow or the thing, the beats, it's cool, but it's not anything. Well, have I feel you been like listening I to the lyrics? Heard like, are you listening? Like breaking it down, the messages and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's, just- it's it is it is a little bit more intense in okay. a way, but it's still like um, I mean, it's just Nas. I think it's more think like guys, like probably the younger generation will be like, yo, who, what, what? Well, like, I, I think I'm like... I'm already used to him, so. I, I mean, I felt like... Well, I liked it, though. So far, I would say I think the last one, Godson, was just a lot better. Like, he just did a lot of different subject matters on the song, and obviously it was seven songs. Uh, it limits... You just... You don't know whatever he's going to cover. It's because there's only seven songs to gauge. So I think, it, I think it's good. Yeah, I don't think it's like he didn't break any new ground. Yeah. It's possible to break new ground, but I think he still put out something good. I don't think it's trash or whack, but I, 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 it's cool. It's cool. I'm going to listen to it a couple more times and finish it and see how I feel. Have you guys heard of the new Jay-Z and Beyonce? No, you got to have title for that or uh, yeah. listen to people's Instagram. I lives. know. Me too. I'm like, come on, guys. Stop making it difficult uh, uh, to Beyonce make more fan? money. I just am a fan of art. Have you seen that video? It's incredible. I haven't seen it. So no. why don't you support Title then? Because I already support Apple for nine ninety nine a month. Oh I my can't God. keep supporting other people. People need to support me. Add Cali Big Funny, you know? <laughs> like I feel like it's oh yeah, you comedy. Like you work for free for so long and then you're like, uh, I'm this like creep. I can't like get a regular job. Look at me now. I don't even know who I am which day, you know? Mm-hmm. I can't like get a regular five days a week job when I'm the same person every day. Like, <laughs> are you kidding me? Hello. No, nah, I feel you. It's Crazy. quite quite the dilemma you're dealing with. Right now, yeah, probably. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, guys, yeah. but I have to use the restroom real quick. Let it out. That's the the pee pee break. It's one of those days. It's, uh, the pee pee break. We'll take the we'll Okay, take we'll right, hold right, it down. Right. Okay, I got it. Um, so how do you feel about kids, Nick? Because you're gonna be a father one day since it's Father's Day. Let's talk about you and Your little Nick. little are you, Nick. Are you serious? Little Nicky. Little Nicky's not. <laughs> not it's, it's not little at all. Why would you wait? Why would you what? Wait, it's hold not on. Little at all. Are you talking about your kid's penis already? I'm he talking about even, my penis, okay. little Nicky. No is not, one is talking about your. We I were thought talking you were about, implying that like no. I was little we, Nicky as we you ready to pre- like no I'm, like we oh, were talking, talking about, about children. Junior. Yeah, okay, yeah. Jesus, we all questioning the size. My penis. I'm sorry. There's gonna be a picture uh, of his penis. No, so nothing is leaking. Look I, I've only sent one dick pic ever, and I don't think it's gonna to get. Who? Out. Oh my god. Um. Online, just as a no, no, no. Person. This girl I was talking to, and like she was just you know into that shit, and then like she said something that made me go, I will never do this again. So. Uh, I only have one. Why? Dick pic what did she there. say? And I now doubt I... she has that because I know her number changed. So she don't. Now have you have problem. to say what she said. So it was like in the morning. Um, she asked for it and it was like in the winter and I had just like woken up and shit and I'm like really like now and then I got it hard and then I sent the picture and then she was like yo like your dick is a little ashy like and I'm wow. like really but like wow you that asked is... for it at 10 in the morning like what the fuck I'm not waking up lotion in my dick like you know what I'm saying I didn't even take a that shower yet that is hilarious cause you know how like with a, with a like 
with a black man, his penis is usually darker. Right. right? So like in the morning, if you, you have this, it low, it's a little, you know, the colors, it's it's like a... This is a complete bit. You right. have to say this on stage. But you know this what I'm hilarious. saying. But you know what I mean, right? Yes, like you see, I know what you you've mean. You've had black dick before, right? I have had several black penises. Okay. Uh, I started my career with black dick because Dominicans are... Let's face it, black. Well, penises. some believe white. They sometimes they go. They just they don't want anything black. They just want their their white. You know, because they believe that white guy is their savior. Some, no, some, I don't do that. I, no, I don't I'm like not white you, penis. but I'm saying some of them it's, just think white. I don't white like is, white yeah. men. I feel like I'm Have hugging you, a wet pigeon. You had a little white face though for a little bit though, right? Wait, Scoop, you think is white? I thought he was like light brown. I wasn't talking about. Oh, damn. sorry, I'm like traumatized. It's okay, but, but he's I've, I've considered dated, white. I've dated, yeah, he is. I've dated like different whites. I've right. dated very, very white. Right, right. To the point where they're like racist, and I'm like, wait a minute, you know that I'm. And y'all were I'm dating. Black, huh? And you and you were like going out with them, and they like yeah. spilling all this shit in front of you, like yeah. Like, but then the thing they'll be they be like, well, you're not like that, right? Because I'm half. Like I'm cool with both groups. I'm black and white, which is cool until I'm like too much of one mm-hmm. in one group. Too much for them. Yeah, too, like too whenever spice. I'm like too black in a white group, they're like, oh god, you are black. Like we can't keep talking to you. <laughs> or you know what I mean? Or like when yeah. I'm too white at a black group, they're like, yeah. who this bitch thinks she is? Like, right? I'm like, can I fucking live? Can I just live? Yeah. Thank you. But so yeah, you see how I, I flipped that off. So yeah, <laughs> right, but that right. that one. So after that one time, and I was just like, yeah, all right, I'm never doing this again. So Good I've never you. been tempted. I don't. You. I don't. And but I'm, do you I don't ever, need to. Do you ever think about children? Do you never think children? about children? Uh, no, I think about children. It's not not now's not the time though. Um, Obviously, you know, you're a child, but, like, do I'm you not, think oh, about... For first of here all... Here we go. Like, nothing not you say to Nick you is be, a lot. I got to check you because uh, I'm a grown man right. and I pay bills. That's true. I'm that is true. So That's true. I am not a child. That's right? true. Uh, but, but, like, do you think about, oh, maybe one day I'll, like, have a family? Out of legacy, just to, you know... Out of legacy. To, he owes it to the world. I owe it to the world to continue. To continue, uh, But right. just now is not the time at all. Like, I feel like it'd probably be, like, after 30 35 going in like 35 up yeah same here 35 and up yeah me too is when i would start to consider having having children i I think your 20s 30s is your time to live have fun go through shit build your profile up get your shit together yeah you know just solid really solidify yourself as a as a human being and be a well-rounded grown-up before you can consider bringing another life into this world so for me yeah i think uh i don't knock anybody who has kids early um Sometimes it works out great. Sometimes it really holds you back and you deal with resentment and all these other kinds of conflicts because a kid into your life just changes everything because a child is expensive to raise. You need help. You can't do it on yourself. So, uh, And out here, I'm definitely not in a position to have kids because I really don't know how many people I have in my group that could ideally help me if, you know, life hit, hit me and I'm like, damn, I got to deal with, you know, with a child. So, right. um, no, kids, not, not right now. But no, I'm not saying no. Right. But just not right now. Yeah, not right now is a good answer. How about answer. you? You want kids? You want family? Yeah, not right now. You want the right house? Now. Yeah, not right now, though. Maybe later, you know? I want kids. Yeah. We know you, want, we know you want kids. What I feel like every, know? I feel like all women, what do you mean maybe you know? one, no, at least one kids. kid, you know? I'm, I'm sorry, but um, <clears throat> I'm 30 years old. I'm right. giving myself till 35 to have kids. That's, that's um, too short. Yeah. Because I don't want the, you know, the, the whole J-Lo thing or like the why where not? they freeze if your eggs. If you have the money, why not? You because I don't want to be an old parent. I want to play with my kids. You can play with your kids. You, you're going to work out in your 40s. What, are you going to stop and get fat? Yeah. I'm a comic. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you always seem like you're in the getting in shape and physical. So I always figured like you'll, you'll be fine as you get older because you're going to work out and stay. Yeah. It's just everybody wants. I don't want the whole freezing of the eggs thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So you only got five years to find love. And, well, I already found love. You so, did? Yeah. Tell us about it. Ooh. No, not for my my... I didn't say that. Anne Marie, so you've been you've been seeing someone. What's up? Oh yeah, I have a boyfriend, and I am like, yeah. How's it going? I, that's yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. happy for you. Hello, yes, Hello. yes, very nice. <laughs> that's good because it's very difficult for female comics to have a relationship because yeah, you know, you're all you're the nurturer, so you're yeah. supposed to be there, and then when you're like five nights out of the week, like I'm out, I'm gonna go do comedy. The yeah. guy ends up having an issue, and not so much so like I just have a, I'm very picky. Let's just say that I'm very mm-hmm. picky. Well, I mean, he's it, out here. It's all, it's all. Um, yeah, yeah, he's not. Um, you, he's you guys are not. But like he's, it's not like um, I get what you're saying about the nurture aspect because like you you go like to like comedy clubs or whatever and you do your thing. But the thing with me is like I I'm already that. So even if I'm not at night, I don't see him like throughout the day. Like it's it works out. 
Like I'm, you know, right. You just you gotta manage it. Everything in life is like a balance. Give right. and take. You know what I'm saying? Like give and take kind yeah. of thing. And I'm old, I'm very traditional. Like it comes to yeah. to things like that. But I get what you're saying about female comics. Not I am very traditional, but this like it's talent hard. is not. It's so. hard for us to date too. Yeah, it's hard, yeah, of course, because you're whores. So Whoa. you really wow. just groupie land all over oh the place. Oh my God, it's that disgusting. is like so, I, I, now I'm offended. No, oh, I'm shut a, up. I'm so offended the things now. that I've seen do, like male comics do at shows. There I, are, but there are some good ones out here. Of course, of course, but you're also whores. You're just whores to one specific person, okay, why which would is we, better. Why would we be whores, though? Um, because it's so easy, like you said, like you're out every night, you know, you're drinking, girls think you're funny and like, okay, I'll suck your dick. And you're like, okay, let, where, ahead. where are these girls? <laughs> Cause uh, I, I really? comedy shows. Probably yes. like the really, maybe you're, you're talking about like the comics who are really like, um, no. like up there. No, no. If you're funny really? that yeah, night, you will, thing, you will like fuck. You up there. Yeah. Mean, the I mean, grizzly pair. Well, I'm not, I'm not into Jesus. that thing as far as like, I, I could imagine, like I would think that would be the case it's because not, I have a, a lot of friends who are guys that are comics who don't get pussy at all, especially in Miami. Losers. And they're, no, I'm they're not I'm utilizing the talent correctly. Yeah, especially in Miami. Because in Miami. Oh my yeah. God. This would he be knows. Easier. Yeah. Like it's, it's yeah. not, it's not a, yeah, it's never, it's always been like, damn. Are they you know? funny? Like they sound? Funny. That's the yeah. one thing. I, well, right. that's where I went back to the fact, are you funny or not? Are, are they likable? But you guys said no. Um, are they likable? Because well, there's a difference because well, if you cannot be as introverts. funny, but if you're likable, that can still entice a girl to want to Well, no, because you have to have game regardless, bro. It's like, it's like. Yeah. You have to be a little hot. You have to have, no, or game or just some type of game, anything. Yeah. Your, your ammo could be no, no. emotional. What, what your saying, ammo could be... What, what I'm saying is that you don't necessarily have to be so hilarious. But right. if you are super likable... Right. But you still have ha- to have game to make it happen. If she, if she could like your persona, she she won't really care. I, I, mean, I, 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 mean, I noticed because I know guys who just didn't have game, but they were like... You know, they just whatever it did worked for the girl, and then they hung out, they had some drinks, and then it didn't. And then it, and yeah, but that yeah. that would take the guy to have that initial it, response to the girl, like make that absolutely move. not. You know, I tell you why because I have friends mm-hmm. who can easily play wingman, and we make sure that we facilitate for our friends that we will not, you will not fuck this up, and we're gonna get you some pussy. Well, but that that means that you have other people on your team. I'm talking about just just comics in general. They're very intro. A lot of them are introverted. Oh, some yeah, yeah. They don't have game, sure. and they're just. Like, sure. even if they're funny, it's like they don't know how oh, to. Oh, yeah. yeah. But even for those people, there's then the extra slutty groupie that approaches them. I've seen it happen. This is why I'm saying, like, from they're. From the comedy. Yeah, let, let's say, like, a Zach Galifianakis uh, person. Like, how are you? He has, oh, he's famous. I'm talking about, like. No, but I'm saying not him. Someone like him with the so oh, personality like trait. Okay, yeah. Beard like, chubby. awkward, just like yeah. a nerd. Like, it's not a person that has game. You yeah. know, he, like, uh, he, he kills that night. He's going to find a very slutty groupie that's gonna be like yo let's go to the back like they will take care of his game so they're it's like a, they're like the lucky charm of the comedy like they're it's just almost always like there. yeah always just i forgot waiting. the the actual term for it what is it funny something mm. it's fun like what, what do you call it the group a, gr- a fun, fun groupie a, a no it was funny something groupie. i forgot but it was like a very catchy like slutty oh, name word. yeah that they get because the, you know she, at they the just want to fuck like, they want to fuck funny they're always yeah they they're always there at the cellar and oh yeah 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 um, it's a very interesting, like, old school culture, you know? Okay. Well, how are groupies funny. for y'all? Did y'all ever have male groupies after your shows? <laughs> Guys who thought you were really funny and wanted to take you out? Um, I mean, no. No. Any girl who does comedy is not for the dick. <laughs> it's not for <laughs> some, some... Every now it, and then but, you get something... Uh, like, last night, like, last week, this model went to see my show. I didn't even ask him. I was like, oh, shit. He just came by himself. I was yeah. like, maybe I'll get laid if I do good. I did very good, so maybe we'll... What happened after the show? Oh, well, he's a model, so he has model things to do, know, you know? Like, I got a really early morning. Right, right. Models have, to wait. have so much time in their hands. <laughs> we just had models on last We night. had models. Like, they have nothing to have fucking to, I have do. to go to his show now. It's like a very high school relationship, you know? I have to mm. work for the penis. Mm. It's fun for me. Really? I feel like I... It should make you work for the penis. I feel like a lot no. of... Uh, Absolutely. I it's, feel it's, like... It, it, in the times of equality, let's always stop fucking working. Do not for, I, work, for the, work for the dick for once. Do not work I for like the it. I like it no. when it's not. <laughs> no. Why should, like it be, it. why should it be so easy? Hmm? For I don't, what? For, for the what? dick. Why should the dick be so easy? It shouldn't. Because the dick is easy. It's not. You guys innately Not want, in Callie's case. You, well, because, <laughs> no, because Callie I, likes to chase. I like no, I no. like men that are not just like... it's it's. I'm very picky okay, again. Callie's I'm very, very picky. picky. I like smart and someone that's funny and like tall. 
a lot of things that not one man has. So when I do find those Nick, men, you, you you reach all that criteria right there. <laughs> But he's a, but he's a comic. He can never. What do you mean he can never? We're not a whole person. Like we're we're a whole person together. When we're apart, we're not. So basically, it's never gonna work out. So you have a type. Means. You have a type. In other words, we're a work in progress. Kelly. It means comedians shouldn't date each other. So if you're a comic and you're out there, get away from lips away. I don't not believe. Do I, don't, I know a, plenty, a bunch of comics who are happy together. Are they? Yeah. Name three couples. Ba- I know um, Rich Voss and Barney McFarlane. Na- Natasha Leggero. And uh, Moshe Kasher, and, and like Annie, fucking, when they have a kid and they right, like tour right, together. Annie Litterman, Kurt Metzger, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I, da, 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 da. I put Patrice and, and uh, Vaughn. They were when they, they were together. When they were together, yeah. Um, who else? There's, before uh, he died. Yeah. Well, before he died. Yeah. Before he died. There's some in L. A. Um, I mean, okay. Okay. People okay. People. Tangerine. So and people do they comics do they? There are happy, they are happy couples. Like if you find another person who's just fucked up as you are, but you guys are willing to fucking do shit together. Right. Right. I guess it takes it's <laughs> a, a, a certain level of okayness. Like now I'm, I'm this okay and you too. Let's yeah. just say this open com open my comics and just people that are not yet successful should not. Tonight. Be fucking each other. It's too much. It's oh. too much. It, too many issues together. Advice from Kale. Thank you. Thank if you. you're broken, you're open mic girl. Don't fuck each other. <laughs> Am I right with that? That's... Okay. So in, in the levels thing. Yeah. Um. Okay. So here's what here's what here's my question today. Because <laughs> like I'm not saying drama. no. I'm not saying you're not wrong. Okay. So sometimes uh, in a woman's position, right. Uh, six, if she's more successful than the male comic, and they're saying or they're teetering on the same level, right? We'll go, we'll generally say that sometimes it could be it might be too much for the guy, right? right? So then a woman feels like I should only really deal with somebody more successful than me, right? Right. So if you so it should either be you two are successful together or you two are so separate where it won't matter. Like right. if you're super successful and you just think this open mic is cute, right? And but he's a good guy outside of him just getting his feet wet, right? It would be fine because you know what you don't have to worry about the competition aspect, right, right, right. Because it takes really two secure people to be around the same yeah, level and do so it together. Yeah, it's so true. It's so true. And yeah. I've had that when I'm like, I look at comics and I'm like, okay, maybe I can let you do stuff to me when we're not. But then I'm like, oh, it can never work because already you're thinking about like, oh yeah, you're going to that show. Oh, what time are you going to? Because you're on the same level. You're the same age. Like even if you're not. If like it's, it, you know. that won't that that's not an issue for me because I don't right. I never take out the I don't put in the competition thing because right. I, especially because I'm I'm dating somebody who's opposite of my sex. Right, Our right, opportunities right. are always going to be completely different. Right, right, um, right. That's what you would think. You know, it's, it's a very yeah. It's unfortunate that guys are insecure, but like with me, yeah. I really like take into consideration and is is that's just not an issue for me. So it's very tricky, you know. Yeah. It's very tricky, and you also want to be like. <laughs> like slutty when you're with someone you want to be a whore right you want to like do things to them that you can only do to that person yeah. and when you are doing that to a comic and then I feel like they see you on stage they're like oh yeah so now you're like this proper woman when you were like on all fours like sucking you know what I mean so it's, it's like a weird high school hey, Marie, relationship how do, how do I feel about it well I know I'm I'm a <laughs> <laughs> this is good. This when is I was, right? when yeah. I'm on stage, I'm just like a fucking savage. Well, she has right. a bit so, about giving head, so she don't care about. I don't give stuff. a fuck. Right, right, right. I don't yeah. care for everyone their own. But I get yeah. what you're saying as far as like the two different aspects of it. The way I see it personally is like people are always gonna talk whether you do something or you don't. So you just right. go, you just ride your fucking wave, right? And do what the true. fuck you do. And this it's is just true, like keep but, going. you know, unfortunately, and this is coming from someone that's been doing it 10 years, quote unquote, I've mostly been like messed up in my head, five of those. But anyways, uh, they ask you for clean stuff. Like the Ice House uh, manager dude, he was like, do you have 10 clean tape? And yeah. I was like, oh shit, I don't think I do because I've been talking about, you know. Right. All this stuff, and it's like, oh, I do have to somehow apply to the rules. For anybody who doesn't wanna... know about clean, clean is basically stand-up material that you don't say fuck shit, balls, tits, or ass, sexually aggressive material, right. nipples, but... anything like that. You just kind of just do everything square. But, but a clean right. tape doesn't necessarily mean you have to stop being who you want. Of course to be. not. Of it course just not. means that for this uh, realm, that this right. is what they prefer because. Right. The clean and and then that can open it up to a broader audience. It can lead to more work, yeah. more opportunities. So it's more just money. like it's just a, a chance to make more money. And but I, it doesn't mean yeah. you have to stop talking about the shit you really want to talk about. Right, and I completely agree with that. Like I I want to do that now. You made a clean take. I feel like I'm I'm doing it because I had clean material from the past, but I feel like I'm a different person. So I want to like 
No, you, you're better one now. The new ten, yeah. Well, so. you just evolve and you do whatever it is you do. Like everybody, for each their own, bro. Yeah. Like for each their own, and that's there's no special formula to this shit. And that's what I always tell everybody that I know that I'm cool with. I'm like, dude, there's not a real formula like A yeah. plus B equals C. You just put in the fucking work. You yeah. do what you do. And then you're in your own lane. You bring up something different. You just keep going. You start creating your own stuff. You start right. you make your own opportunities, and you just keep going. And then Especially, people will start yeah. seeing, hey, you know what? I like this person. Let me go, you know. And then you start meeting people, and then you just keep working and growing and working and growing. Yeah, especially in stand-up. Like, you're yeah. up there by yourself, you know? It's like, what's the need of, there's not even a banjo guy in the back. Like, it's just you there. Like, you must have something to say, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you, like, get up every night and you go out there, like, you have to have something to say. So what is it? Like, what do you want to say? I feel like that's where I am now, where I want to, like, narrow it to... What do you believe in? What are you trying to push out there? You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess you're, you're getting and the to characters that point are so dope too. Because so. you could like, yeah. you could incorporate characters in your stuff too. So yeah, someone gave me a great advice to add like the characters in a bit doing stand up, just the voices of them, mm-hmm. just so I can get more comfortable. I, I would recommend um, you watching Damon Wayne's specials. Okay. Uh, if you watch his hours, his oh, so good. He has an hour from like 1990, like around the time of Living Color that just came out. That's right. called uh, the Last Stand. And then there's another hour special called Still Standing. And he, he you know, he do, he's the characters in his act. And then you would see throughout his hour, he'll do like six or seven characters at certain points. And those characters, you know, there's like four or five minute bits on each of them. So you can just see how he incorporates characters. Then he gets out of the characters, does a couple of bits, talks about right. family. Talk, he talks about being married. And no, I want to see that because that's, that's going to play well. I would though. recommend those two for you because he balances you. characters and then being a stand up in, in one yeah. hour. So. And they can help me so much in the clean world. Like, I can go on and have so much material with the voices because mm-hmm. characters can get away with saying anything. That's the beauty of characters. Yeah, yeah. So you like, oh, it wasn't me that said that it was this bitch. Da-da-da-da. You know, like, so it's <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's more reliable in the clean world, you know? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. agree. I agree. Definitely. Sweet. Oh, um, fucking Paul, man. Paul went. I think he's falling asleep over there in the back. Taking a nap? Taking a little nap and nap. Well, uh, this has been very, very nice. Happy yeah. Father's Day to you in the future. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Wait, was that really Mark Wahlberg? No. <laughs> I really <laughs> believe it. That was, you guys, that was actually that David. Really that was good. David Del Rosario. And he was just doing That was thing. a great, great yeah. impression. Are you Shout kidding me? Shout out to me? David. He's oh, How did was, you know that he was wasn't? Good. Come on, bro. <laughs> She's going to make a phone call and then uh, say, hey, Mark. Well, I'm, I'm, actually, so I'm, ac- I'm actually flattered. It was like a radio I'm so show. gullible. Yeah, I really yeah, believed are. it. He sounded just like him. Yes. No, he's really yeah, good. He, he's he's he got really mad. Good he got mad. Yeah. 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 Yo, the, telling that shit was, that was the truth, Mark man. would definitely have clicked in yeah. like three seconds if he didn't know who this was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he came out with the good energy. It was cool because he kept coming back and forward. Like, wait, why are you calling my name? I was like, oh, he's about to be an asshole. But then he would come back and I was like, oh, because he knows he's on air right now yeah right. that was pretty good shout man. out to David De Rosario. Was he was cool. he was on the show a couple weeks ago yeah. oh, shout out what's up David <laughs> like, I feel like a radio show that's what you were like what why is Nick being like that I was like oh what? probably when you were talking to Mark I was like why is he not <laughs> Excited that he's talking. Cause about Nick is a cool that. body. You don't go fuck. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess it's not Mark. But then I feel like you were a little excited. So I was like, maybe it is. I mean, you know, you just got you got to act like nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell David that. That's I'm, true. I'm, he's gonna be really excited that you were like, you know what? Yeah, he had. He, I thought that was Mark. I was I know. <laughs> excited. She was like, I ate at Walburn. I know. She was like, I ate like, at your can I get an autograph? I was trying to plug the wall burgers to be yeah. on the good side. Damn. That's fucked up. <laughs> Fucking Marky Mark in this bitch. Okay. So, uh, Callie, I guess before we wrap up, uh, do you have any shows after Thursday that you want to promote so that people can come check you out? Yes, I'm leaving at the end of the month to a meditation retreat because I have mental problems and oh, I need a break. Oh, you're right, you're right. That's I need beautiful. a break. Yeah, I always do it once Isn't a year. Isn't that expensive? Actually, for me, it's free. I can give you the info. Yes. Um, it's great. It's, I go for 10 days. I'll give it for my mom. <laughs> my mom is fucking dumb. She needs that. No, that's but good. after I, that. I didn't realize. I forgot about that part. So, yeah. No. After that, I'm doing the Rose Battle at the Comedy Store. Oh, nice. Please come. I want to I want to become the Yo, queen. Yo, you ever go to Battle Jasmine? The queen. No, she's. Don't even get me started. Why we, you want to battle? We battle Jasmine? each other off the stage already. Well, Jasmine battled Stephanie not too long ago. And Stephanie. Lost. The Stephanie one, yeah. Of course. No one Jasmine will win. Jasmine is not. I love Jasmine, but she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She's not a rose comic. I want to roast people. I dream about it. It's it's, about roasting people. Have you done it before? 
Uh, yeah, but way back when I first started, like back in my heyday, you know, when I used to yeah, do yeah. cocaine and then do a set and like <laughs> oh, live yeah. the dream, you know. That's but, the best time to shit on someone when you're on drugs. Yeah. No, no, but now I want to do it. Because you feel like too. confident. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to <laughs> solidify myself as a real like Roaster. rose comic in the circuit. So and this they got picked up season three, so, you know, this get, summer's get your perfect. battle chops up. I have all Puerto Rican dudes yeah. lined up. It's going to be a beautiful summer, guys. I have four different comics. You got to meet the white people, though. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Corey, Corey Hernandez. He's going to battle you? He agrees. I'm battling him in <laughs> well, I wouldn't sleep on Corey. Corey's a clever writer. He's good, writer. of course. Yeah, Corey's I think you should no, be they're friends good. with whoever you roast, though, because that's the best, if that's the best thing yeah. when you're friends with them. Because if you're not, then it's kind of awkward. Like, and it's not. <laughs> like you feel the energy of, like, it's Amber, you want to roast? I'll be I'll be down the road. Yeah, you guys will be roast, nice. Like, so you why would what? you bring that up? Sh- <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's good to showcase your jokes. It, yeah, yeah. it separates you. It's, it definitely does something because I've met the people that have been like the winners of the roast battle, and they now get spots regularly at the store. And you know, I mean, it's just like a, it's another it's like, way means of getting in. Really? Yeah. 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 yeah, really? yeah. So I'm getting. Do you in, know, I they got too. some guys get writing jobs. They get opportunities. For you know, it's, it's a way in. But what happens is some guys don't focus on stand up, and they just worry about roasting, and then they just oh, don't know right, how to right, succeed. Right. Outside of that environment, so like, yeah. you gotta be you gotta be good in yourself and understand. Okay, I'm doing preparing for this, but this is not right. all I'm gonna do right, in my right. whole world. Like Matt Richards, <laughs> my boy Matt, he um you know he headlines on his own. He's super funny. He's also undefeated as a roast. Shout player. out to Matt. He's he's beating like Woo-woo. some of the best people out here. Mm-hmm. He's held it down in New York. He hosted roast battle in New York, but like you know it just never consumed him. He just know how to do it because yeah, he was just, just like good little, at little, you do it here, you do it there. You do yeah, it this, like once that, a month. Don't this. get crazy, you know. I just want right, once a month is too much because you got to spend at least two weeks getting ready for that shit. Yeah, I mean not here. Here you do like what three jokes, three nah, and three. You do like three. You do like three rounds, like back and forth. Yeah, but it's so simple. Like the guy that I'm roasting. You gotta the have first, a love to, to shitting on no, people. You, you have sound, to have a love for shitting easy, on people. It's not. A, it's not a love for come. shitting on people. It's the, if the writing, good. the joke writing and roast. It's impeccable because yeah. it's so sharp and it's yeah. like it goes straight to your soul. Yeah. I love that kind of writing. You're not it's afraid like, to be vicious. It's like one liners that will like mean something. But it, what I mean is like as far as like your comedy career, like you can't do anything with that except for that fucking night. Like it's well, cool. look what it did for all Amy Schumer and uh, what's his name. No, I'm saying as far as like People stand-up bits, like when she's doing Madison Square Garden, she's not talking about roast. She fucking did. No, something. of course I'm not. I'm talking about like as far as like roasting. I know some people who roast. They genuinely like it because they're genuinely like when they hang out with people, right. they just talk shit for no. No, reason. that's not who I am. I just I'm doing it for the for the writing side of it and oh, to the, get out yeah, yeah. ahead because yeah. that way I'll be like. Oh yeah, I was that girl at the rose. Can you give me a spot and then I can I can do the stand up well, or you, even the show? Is how funny. good are you with the uh, freestyle roasting? Because all deaf is a whole different lane of roasting. Can God, you, can, as can myself, you snap? myself, as myself, I cannot you're do not, shit. But I shea butter. I will destroy shea people. Butter. Okay. You know this. But I was gonna tell you the same thing. Like wild and out, I get so many wild and out vibes from you. But I don't even know if you can freestyle like they do. Like yeah. the funny. I, I, you should I went apply out for, for that. Now. You did? I did. Yeah, yeah. Are they still? Do they still doing it? They're doing season twelve. Wow! They oh, open like nice. some Miami the, stores. The producer felt I he felt it wasn't a, a fit for me because it's just the lane that is just he thought it was just like too ratchet. Yeah. Or they go they really go ratchet now. So yeah. it's the, you're ratchet. It's, but it's, I, I yeah, am, but I'm not ratchet petty. enough though for them. Yeah. Like they 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 like it's it's just the, the yeah, it's Im, true. whatever is is the is super ratchet how they're doing the comedy and, and the people that they get on the show. Yeah. And it's like you either have to be like white and be like completely opposite. Or you have to be ratchet, so I, it doesn't I work. think that's why like, the same reason I'm not in old deaf, because they're very ratchet. And but also, you're so opposite. I felt like you could work because you're like such a, you know, with the accent. It's just you're people, Spanish. though, for some reason, people don't like me. And I, I think it comes from a very deep place of who I am as yeah. a person. Um, and I'm, I'm okay with that because I'm with myself every day Are and I love myself. Yourself? No, I, I, I do. Every day I work on myself and I love myself, but I, I see why. It's almost like a... Like what I'm putting out there is a lot of freedom that has never been there. Like I look at myself and I'm like this immigrant woman. Uh, I'm right. I'm 31. So I'm not like a millennial, but I'm also not old school. Right. It's a lot of friction. So when I go into a place and people are like, the fuck? Like, I, I I understand why, especially with the stand up. You know what I mean? So it's, it's taken me a little while to kind of like find my box, you know? Okay. But once I do, baby, I think I'm, yeah. I'm fitting into it right now. Like, with the characters, I want to make it lighter. Okay. And be like, these are things that a kid can watch. Or a fucking... It's not like, oh, my God, Burka alert. 
call the terrorists, like calm down. Everybody yeah. just like ease into it. Uh-huh. And that way I think it's going to be a longer, you know, career versus like. All right. So what, what day are you uh, battling? What's, who are you going against? I'm going up on July 12th against this guy whose uh, Instagram name is the official Poppy, Puerto Rican Poppy, the official Puerto Rican Poppy. So okay. you know that Amy's I'm gonna following win right now. She's like, you know that I'm winning. Puerto Rican Poppy, uh, and he's literally the epitome of, of a Puerto Rican Poppy. But he should not be doing comedy. The like Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican Poppy. Uh, how do you? How does July twelfth? You said yeah, July. Tuesday, 12th. That's Tuesday, July twelfth, in at the comedy store in the Belly Room. Yes, Cali is gonna be roast battling. So lock in this date when it comes Ooh. out, July twelfth. Yes. Um, how I'll, can the people follow you, Cali? People can follow me at Cali Be Funny, K A L I B as in Batista, which is my last name, mm-hmm. and Funny. You know, you know me from when I used to use my last name. Right. <laughs> Cali so Be Funny. You just go by Cali B. Cali B, baby. I'm riding that Cardi B wave. Hey, hey. the mannequin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, you got any shows? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm doing weekend. the Hollywood Improv with Shantae Waynes. Um, on Tuesday, I'm doing the Dime. They won't be there. Uh, sorry, on Monday. They and won't be there. And um, you know what? They won't be there, but they'll still listen to it, and they could still know that I'm out here doing shit. You are out here doing so, shit. We, yeah. So, you know, um, we'll tell you about next week how it went. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's cool. I also, on my social media, most of the people who listen to us, they follow my social media. That's so awesome. you guys will probably be there. So I'll see you guys on Monday. She's and then I also it. have um, I have the Dime on Tuesday as well. And um, Oh, yeah, yeah, I did that last. That was fun. That was yeah, fun. yeah, we got some some good stuff going out. Anything uh, after Thursday? After Thursday? Uh, no, I'm actually going to uh, San Diego. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm going to do the Madhouse over there. Oh, yeah, Madhouse is a great club. Yeah, a good I love it. Yeah, I'm going to go off for two days. Um, yeah, just she keep grinded, on baby. Chipping. Yeah, that's what's up. How can I follow you? Uh, you guys know where to follow. Yo, you gotta, Nick, Nick you this is episode like this motherfucking the, 19. But, Amy, bro. you still have to p- plug yourself because there I don't are new need people to, who watch the shows. You I have don't. to think that this is like the first time somebody's watching us. All right, Dad. That's right. <laughs> For hashtag follow All right, I gotta keep, I gotta keep raising this fucking All child. Right, Pop. Yeah, yeah, because I do need help. Naughty girl. I need help. Oh, yeah, guys, yeah. we have to uh, go off the record now. Things are about to get a little slutty. Hey. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, June 26th, I'll be at. I don't know. Uh, June 26th, I'll be at the uh, Hollywood Improv. Um, working with my man Greg Edwards, we're doing a, like a social media show that should be pretty cool in the Improv Lab. If you want to check that out, um, next Saturday I'll be at the local clubhouse on Hollywood in Vermont. So I believe that is the 23rd, and uh, Thursday night is the NBA draft. And I'm a big Knicks fan, so I'm hoping my Knicks can get somebody fucking good. Cause God bless your soul. Thank you. I, I, I take all the <laughs> blessings I can receive. Uh, and if y'all want to follow me, add me at Nick of Comedy so y'all can keep up with me. And thanks for supporting, watching, listening, subscribing to For the Culture, man. Peace out. Have a good one. Happy Father's Day again. Yeah. Woo-hoo.